What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Further 73. Jim, what's going on? I have gotten several comments, a number of emails, a few Voxer inquiries, some Instagram direct messages, and a couple of text messages from all of you out there in the YTPC asking where I've been, what's going on, hoping I'm all right. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for your concern. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate it, even though I haven't uh, had much of a presence here on the old YouTubes lately. I, uh, I still try to respond to all the viewer comments, emails, and, uh, and IMs from everybody as quick as I can. Sometimes not as quick as I'd like, but uh, I, do, I do try to respond to everybody. So anyway, thanks for your concern. Everything is fine. Um, just the uh, typical middle age stuff going on. I'm uh, I'm fairly happy, healthy. That's good. You know, nothing major. Uh, just uh, one of those little uh, dog legs in the road of life. Kind of jumped out and got in the way of uh, me getting out to the shop up the up the hill there and turning out the pipes and. You know, I haven't made a video in, I think, nine months. So, yeah, you know, uh, life situations change, things come up, people come and go. So, hopefully I have rounded the last bend of that dog leg and I'm getting right back on the path where I was. I, uh, I actually went up to the shop and uh, got a little time in on a couple of commissions that I am woefully behind on. And... Uh, I will get those finished up. I know uh, I know the two guys that are waiting will probably see this video. So, I haven't forgot about you. I will get those pipes done, and I will get them sent out, and I'll let you know as soon as they're ready. I can't say when it'll be, because I've still got some, uh, still got some things i got to deal with. I'm working on a relocation, selling, uh, selling this place, and uh, trying to move closer to my uh, first place of employment. So... Uh, it's still going to be a while before I'm back with any regularity, but I'm, like I say, I'm on the last bend of that dog leg and uh, hoping to be back on track. Maybe uh, maybe if the whole uh, Nashville Pipe Show thing continues this year, I will uh, make an appearance down there this fall. Missed out on the Chicago Pipe Show this weekend. That really got, uh, that really got, got my interest back up. And that's part of what prompted me to sit down this weekend and do this video seeing all the pictures and seeing everybody come in and seeing the Voxer chats and uh, yeah it's a great community and I I, uh, I miss being a part of it quite a bit so anyway enough of that bullshit I'm uh, I'm working on getting back should be back hopefully no later than this fall I should be back in the swing but I figured since uh, hadn't been on for a while haven't really been doing much I uh, thought I'd uh, bore you all with a little box opening here. I uh, I ordered some cigars online, had them shipped over, and I've had uh, some mixed reviews of the place I ordered them from, so I want to open it up here and see what I've got. I've had success doing this before. This is the first time I've tried this company. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's my Swiss Post mailer. And I requested sealed boxes for my shipments, so there should be a couple of sealed packs as well as some individual sticks in here. So let's see what we got. So far, it looks legit. The printing looks right. The font looks right. The silk screening looks right. The uh, 
the seal looks right and it is it is in fact sealed right there you can see that seal's not been cut I am so looking forward to getting uh, getting a chance to smoke a couple of these guys so now here's where the rubber really meets the road the uh, the reviews I've read sealed boxes tend to be legit open boxes not so much so I bought some individual sticks I'm gonna take a look at these look at their bands look at the quality of the tobacco the consistency and the rolling and uh, the overall construction and uh, and see what we've got oh god those smell good they did come in a nice uh, nice humid pack it's got a like a little boveda bag built in here so uh, they appear to have been well packaged and they should be ready to should be ready to smoke and that band looks pretty good I'm gonna have to put my uh, my eyeballs on here so I can inspect these sticks a little closer Do have the nice uh, triple uh, triple layer cap that you should see on a on a genuine stick. The embossing looks good. I'm gonna say uh, that's probably the real deal. Yeah, Partagas Serie D number four. Let's see how those guys look. Yeah, I got a question about this one. Band looks good. It's nice and tight. And I ordered uh, I ordered three of these. That one looks good. I question that one so bands all look legit not convinced on on these two sticks I'm pretty sure that one's good to go got a nice little Trinidad here this little pigtail smell really really nice it's Monte Cristo Edmundo's they've got the new style band they look pretty damn good <clears throat> but I gotta say with the uh, Partagas Serie D number fours I'm a little disappointed in the quality so I'm gonna chalk these up as fake got a busted wrapper got a little damage down here at the foot yep they're gonna be hearing back about that not satisfied be the last order I make from these folks although I would say uh, for the most part these things look pretty legit Connoisseur A, very very nice. Not bad, not perfect, but I think we've got uh, a mix of legit Habanos and uh, a couple of not so legit Habanos thrown into the mix. So I'd say I'm about 10% uh, satisfied. I won't order from them again. I'll go back to my other source. Because the quality from this retailer just isn't there. So I'm going to say steer clear of finest Cuban cigars. 
I've read mixed reviews. They used to be very good. They got a lot of business. They started slipping in some fakes here and there. From the reviews I've read, as long as you order sealed boxes and get sealed boxes, they typically are legit. It's when you get into the individual sticks where they start slipping in some of the uh, some of the not so legit cigars in. So, and I knew that going in. This was uh, this was a trial run to see what I got. And in any case, the prices were decent enough. And with the exception of the uh, couple that I got are, that are damaged, overall I think I got some. I think I got some decent cigars. They're just not necessarily uh, what they were purported to be. So let's take a look at these Cohibas. Cut the seal on that guy. And like I said, I uh, I believe these to be legit just by the packaging seals in the right place it's positioned right it's got the hologram now obviously I can't do the UV check on it to make sure out here but the proof is in the pudding once we get inside here the embossing is good the packaging is perfect the uh, the printing the silk screening everything is uh, from what I can tell, spot on the way it's supposed to be. Barcode on the back. Everything looks uh, looks to be all right there. Let's see what we got inside. All right, totally legit. These are genuine. Cohiba has uh, included a bunch of security features to prevent counterfeiters from copying their cigars. And if you notice right here, it's got the hologram on the band, top and bottom. It's got the holographic Indian. So, yeah. These are, in my mind, without a doubt, Genuine Habanos, Cedar Line Tubos, Sigalo Twos, and I think that is how I'm going to round out a very busy, very tiring, and very fun weekend. So YouTube, thanks for checking it out. Look for me in the near future. Not going to be as regular as I was for a while, but I am going to try and uh, and get back with some regularity, keep you all updated on what's going on, and. Uh, Hopefully I'll have some, uh, some stuff to show off out of the shop here before long. So, until then, sweet smokes. Enjoy yourselves one day at a time, and uh, don't take it too serious. None of us get out alive. We'll see you later.